Hey guys, this video is going to be a little more freeform than I usually have, uh, but I did, couldn't think of a better way to show you, so I'm just going to get in it. So this is the normal spirit build for the spinning boulder dolmen, right? As you can see, I'm hitting around 200,000 for most of my hits, maybe a little under, maybe a little over. Okay, now I'm going to change my setup. Now you can see that we're hitting closer to 400k, a little under, a little over. So the thing with this is you might have noticed the allies at the bottom, but basically <laughs> we took the uh, core skill, uh, boulders of core skill and cost 50 and we put it on our gloves and we took it off of our weapon and on our weapon we put core skills deal an additional 20% damage for each active ally or companion. Um, then we've got ring of the stampede, which by the way, I didn't level up this ring. Um, and I didn't put the gems on the weapon, uh, just so that there was even less to make sure that I wasn't being biased. Uh, so we're getting almost double damage without even putting the gems on or leveling up this ring. So <laughs> it basically doubles the damage of this. Uh, which is pretty crazy. So the way we're doing this is we have four ravens, three wolves, and two poison creepers. That is a total of, if I can do math, nine <laughs> uh, companions. Now, the nine companions is nine times 20, okay? So that's 180%, and this is multiplicative damage. So that's 180% multiplicative damage we're getting from our two-hander. Um, which ends up being much better than what we got with the uh, metamorphic stone on our two-hander. So let me go ahead and walk you through this build in case you want to run it. I'll have the written guide on my Discord at discord.gg slash screamheart, but I'm going to be relatively quick on this one because I've been trying to stream all day and I was trying to get this build done, and now it's nighttime and I want to get the, this build out there so that I can stream. So for the helmet, we've got Vasily's Prayer. For the chest piece, we've got Insatiable Fury. For the gloves, we've got the metamorphic stone. For our pants, we've got Tibalt's Will. For our boots, we have to use Symbiotic here. For a weapon, we're using Shepherd's Aspect. We're using Dolman Stone for the amulet. Stampede for the ring number one. And Retaliation for ring number two. For the stats, I've got all the stats listed in detail on the build guide. But on the gloves, you basically want attack speed, critical strike chance, and lucky hit chance. On the boots, you basically want movement speed, all stats, willpower, and whatever useful stats you can get on there. For the weapon, you want damage to crowd controlled, and then anything that works for you, so critical strike damage, core damage, vulnerable damage, willpower, all stats. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, for the ring, you want to have critical strike chance, lucky hit chance, maximum life, damage to crowd controlled enemies, or critical strike damage. For vampire abilities, we've got Prey on the Weak, Metamorphosis, Feed the Coven, Blood Boil, and Sanguine Brace. There's a couple of these that are pretty interchangeable. Blood Boil could be swapped out. If you prefer Undying, you can always change off of the Masochistic Spirit Moon. If you use Undying, you're going to want to put Obsidian Slam on. Feed the Coven gives you a little bit of Spirit and also triggers a damage increase. But it's only 10%, so feel free to swap this out if you need something else as well. Attack Speed can be nice, but from my testing, I don't actually need any more Attack Speed. But if you feel like you do, go for Ravenous or Moonrise. And if you need a little more survivability, you can always go Resilience. The main reason I don't use Resilience normally is because the damage reduction is really nice, but the main thing that I'm concerned with is usually one-shots, and this doesn't really help with one-shots. For our gems, we're going with ruby on all the armor, we're going with emerald on the weapon, and we're going with diamond on the accessories. Make sure you check your resistances. If your resistances aren't maxed out, then you're going to want diamonds. However, if your resistances are maxed out, you're going to want to put skulls here instead. Don't forget that when you're playing around with your resistances, you can always go back in the skill tree and change the points and ancestral fortitude. For Spirit Boons, I'm using Wariness, Scythe Talons, Avian Wrath, Energize, and Calm Before the Storm. I'm just going to slide through the skill tree and I'll talk about a couple different things. Um, but basically, the only thing I can really think of that is very important here that I should talk about is we do have our Poison Creeper that is passively hitting enemies, so bosses will always be poisoned. Um, and we have the active. We don't have the thing that resets the cooldown on Poison Creeper, but we don't really need that. We can use this occasionally, uh, but for the most part, we know that bosses will always be poisoned. I do have Resonance and Quick Shift maxed out. When you're spamming your basic attack and your boulder, a lot of the times you'll be getting the bonuses from these. Um, not always. Sometimes you just want to spam the boulder, but you do get this benefit quite a bit. Now, I spent 
hours today, <laughs> hours on this Paragon board. And I was back and forth. I think I finally landed on something that I actually genuinely like. Um, so we have Outmatch in our starter board. Our second board is Inner Beast, and we have the Earth and Sky here. Our third board is uh, Ancestral Guidance, and we grab Shapeshifter here. Again, you have to actually use your basic attack and then boulder in order to get the Shapeshift bonus, but when you're spamming, you tend to get this quite often. Um, our third board is Survival Instincts, and we are taking Spirit here. Our next board is Earth and Devastation, and we are taking Undaunted there. And our final board is Constricting Tendrils, where we are taking Tectonic. I'll tack on a video at the end here of me killing Uber Lilith with this, but if you want to see more gameplay, come by my stream. I'm going to be streaming right after I put this video out, and I stream every day. Happy Halloween. <laughs>